Hello everybody, welcome! My name is Ursa Ryan and this is Civ 6. Or is it Civ 7? Have I finally been released from my drawing nightmare? <laughs> no. It's Civ 6 and today we are back with Sucre Tact mods because I had great fun last time and one that kept coming up in the comments and as a recommendation from the lovely Bothius was that I should play Iceland, which looks really cool and he's so smiley and absolutely looks like he could be from Arendelle. Remember ladies and gentlemen, if you want to join in with this wonderful game you can. Come along to Discord, I have all of the mods, all of the maps, everything that you need to have a lovely Civ 6 party in your own house. In fact, I can wholeheartedly not promise that every single answer to every question you've ever had may not be in the Discord, so don't believe me. Deity, standard speed, no game modes, no mods other than this one, and a small or I should say tiny primordial map with four people. Primordial? Volcanoes? Hmm, I wonder if Iceland works well with volcanoes. They do. Let's get started. But before we get started today, I need to tell you about something concerning. Here is Ursa Bear. Ursa Bear was going about their daily life, chomping on crisps, playing Civ 6 when disaster struck. Ursa Bear was unfairly expelled from Oxford University's Civ 6 program. Sad, alone, scared, Ursa Bear made his way to the fabled promised land, the University of Sankor. But there was a catch. The head of the University of Sankor, the vampire Lord Sucklington, refused to let Ursa Bear attend. Without 50,000 subscriptions on his application to enroll, Ursa Bear did not qualify for their world leading education. The University of Sankor takes only the best. Will you help Ursa Bear stick it to Oxford? Will you subscribe today? Thank you. And back to the video. Turn 1. And in order to figure out what we're going to do turn 1, which looks to be a little bit intriguing because there's a lot of grassland around here, and I don't like grassland starts, it can be a little bit rubbish, we need to have a look at Iceland's abilities. Now Socratact has some amazing ideas for Civ, and this mod is no different. Some of these ideas I would love to see incorporated in some of the official Civ and leaders in the game. Some of these are really, really cool, but it is a little bit complicated, so we're going to have to go through this together and just keep reminding ourselves of this as we go through. Settlers and recon units receive one movement and one sight. That's pretty normal. We can deal with that. Cities on tiles with charming appeal or better receive loyalty equal to the tile's appeal. That is very handy if you're forward settling somebody, but in most circumstances, that's not really going to be a problem, so we're not really going to be talking about settling on charming appeal or better. However, when placing a district on a tile, with breathtaking appeal, receive a burst of production towards that district. I don't know how much production that's going to be, but a quicker first district or any district as long as it's on breathtaking appeal? Hmm, that's interesting. It also pushes us really towards things like preserves, holy sites, theatre squares, entertainment complexes, anything that gives me more appeal for building it. I love the fact he's animated by the way, it's so cool. And then it starts to get a little bit more complicated. Historic moments provide great writer points. Again, how many points? I'm not sure, maybe it'll tell us. Natural wonders, volcanoes, and geothermal fissures provide one appeal to adjacent tiles, and these features provide one amenity if at least one is present in the city. So if we settle next to something beautiful, hot, or in some cases both, and will absolutely blow up and kill all of us in a screaming lathery death, we're happy about it, and it's pretty. So already looking at this start, there is a volcano down here and a volcano down here. Both of these are going to be very, very interesting. I can't see any geothermal fissures, I can't see any natural wonders, but we'll keep an eye out for those as well. Then we have a law speaker, a special type of great person only available to Iceland. You can find it in the frozen chicken aisle. That, that is a joke for UK audiences. I have no idea if Iceland is a shop outside of the UK. It probably is. Their abilities augment your great works of writing. So this is why I was talking about theatre squares earlier. I earn one every time I construct a government plaza or any of its buildings, or when I adopt a government from a new tier for the first time. So I believe, oh hang on, I've just seen some as well when you're the first to adopt a government from any tier as well so there's a possible 11 i think but eight guaranteed or no seven guaranteed because there's four from governments four from being first for governments and three from a government plaza and buildings one of us another four in there as well so possibly 12 guaranteed eight interesting then we have a unique aqueduct which is really cool it doesn't have the usual bonuses but what it does do is give three housing one food and one production however it gives more yield if it's on a charming tile and even more yield if it's on a breathtaking Tile. Gives no adjacency to industrial zones. I guess it comes with food and production, so that's fine. But we're not really going to be playing with industrial zones today. Oh, it gives appeal to adjacent tiles. 
Aha, okay. So basically on this mountain range, I'm not actually putting pins here because they're useful. This is just the representation. These are the districts that we're going to be playing with early game. Aqueduct, Theatre Square, Holy Site, Preserve and Entertainment Complex. So I better look at the lens. Breathtaking, 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 and a lot of marsh that can be chopped down. Lots of river, lots of mountains, lots of forest. I don't want to be removing any forest in this game. This is going to be very intriguing. Now, I don't want to remove this forest. So actually, I'm going to go and settle on the honey. Gives my capital a little bit of extra food, which is lovely, but means I retain a breathtaking tile for later. Whether that's the best idea or not, I don't know. Primordial map, by the way, this is a map that will contain lots of volcanoes, lots of mountains, lots of hills, lots of geothermal fissures. Did I rig it to make it slightly better for Iceland? Yes, I absolutely did. Reykjavik. I will warn you now, ladies and gentlemen, this is Iceland. Iceland, or Icelandic, is one of the most difficult languages to try and say. You've seen the wonder. It's impossible. I mean, look at this. Land Namabok. That's my best guess. If if you don't see me trying to pronounce things like Ingulfa Agnason, then it's out of respect to the people of Iceland. <laughs> not because I'm not trying. Let's get a scout. We actually want to chuck a couple of scouts out. If these give one movement and one sight bonus, that's pretty cool. And I think I do want to go for a religion today. So let's try and get astrology. Rainforest below me. Keep an eye on the fact that there's rainforest here. It means we kind of want to hug the north of the map because, as I say, breathtaking tiles tend not to be around rainforest. We will be able to chop it down later. But until it is chopped down, it's very, very difficult to deal with. Oh, and there's floodplain down here as well. This is like the worst for me. Ugh. Now, I actually haven't rigged this in any way, but that is the volcano from Iceland. Is that just a thing with the mod? Let me know in the comments. Is this a thing where you're supposed to spawn next to this, or is this just incredibly lucky? It could be incredibly lucky. Okay, Mahanja Dairo was there. That's not ideal, but it's two culture city-states, including Kamasi. Oh my goodness. Right, trade. Theatre squares, culture. This is absolutely the way we're going to be playing this, which is really good, because last game with Rome, I did play a very scientific industrial game. Looking forward to playing something a little bit different today. Someone's met Kamasi, by the way. That's no fun. But nobody had met Mahanja Dairo. And the scout appears. Right, I'm going to go and just skirt around this mountain range to see what's there. Not not much. Ah, oh, I'm actually settled in a really, really awkward position here, because I can't get around to settle on this little coast. Never mind. Do I go for a second scout, or do I try and go straight for Settler? Looking at the breathtaking tiles, if I was to go and settle on that rainforest, I'd claim this pass, which is cool. I'd remove the rainforest, and this is all breathtaking tiles around me, so it's not a bad idea. No, I'm going to go scouts. I've been given a game with an ability for scouts. I assume all of this extra visibility is to go and see where the wonders are, so I might as well use it. Volcano's gone off. Interesting. Oh, and I've got three era score already now. First to find that wonder. How many writer points did I get from that? Three. Okay, so it's literally a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm just likely to pick up maybe a couple of wonders at the beginning of the game, or writers at the beginning of the game. Not much more. Oh, there's not much land up there at all. Okay, good to know. Goodness me, extra uh, sight on the scouts is very handy. Two tribal villages have appeared. One here, one there. What are we going to find in them? Will anybody ever tell me? Who knows? It's a barbarian up to the north. Let's not worry about that, god king. And I'm going to go survey today. I'm in a survey mood. I always preach about how survey is useless, but let's go through it and give myself a bit more political philosophy. And I've written a saga to commemorate the fact that I've just joined a civilization of little, little people. I guess that kind of works. I really like it. So Iceland is all about telling stories and bringing those stories into the culture of your civilization. That's awesome. Hey, Sokrikak, this is brilliant. What are we going to do after? I think I had a city state that wants the boost to foreign trade, Kamasi. So I'm going to try not to go too far on that one, but that will do. I'll put one turn into Settler and then we'll think about where we want to put our holy site, which astronomy has just unlocked. Nobody has gone for profits just yet. Let's stop that and pay attention to how much a holy site costs. 58 production. Now, all this says is that if I put it on a breathtaking appeal tile, I receive a burst of production towards that district. I believe, yep, that is a plus five. That is breathtaking. So I'm going to pop it onto this mountain. It is 58 production and I just got 19. That is, I think, one third exactly of the production for that district. It's uh, it, it's nicely synergized, but it's not so powerful that I'm going to worry about it too much. It's quite cool though. Okay, the scout can't get any further in this direction and there's a barb camp there. Actually, it seems pretty squished. My warrior might be able to go and take that out. Tribal, village, archery boosted. Okay, and what next? I want camps and pastures, I think. So let's go and work on animal husbandry. My horses are very lonely. They need to get married. It's the only way. A four movement scout with alpine so I can move on top 
Copper Hills. That's really cool. There's a barb camp up to the north in the Frozen Plateau. That'll make a good tail if we go up and destroy them, but I'm going to leave them alone for now. Foreign trade boosted across the sea. Very narrow sea with the volcano. Oh, Johannesburg. I tell you what, Johannesburg and Mahanjadaro, both of these city-states have really cool settling locations. I am a little bit jealous, and I feel like playing a more peaceful game today, which is unfortunate because they really do have some good spots. Hello, Babs. I am here. As soon as I meet somebody else, I can sell the luxury that I've settled on and hopefully get enough gold or near enough gold to buy a settler. But I can't do that just now. So I'm just taking my time. Turtles, more honey. Settling locations are few and far between in this area, I have to say. More era score. Three in this particular instance for my holy site. And nobody's going for a religion just yet. I tell you what, I haven't had a religion in so long. So I'm really going to rush this. <laughs> I do feel like it. it's not the optimum play, but I want a religion. Foreign trade. God King's not so useful anymore, seeing as I'm getting four faith per turn. And survey is still pretty useful, given the fact my scouts are absolute maniacs that are running around everywhere. Fez? Somebody's met Fez as well, so there's definitely someone to the south. Somewhere. Let's now go for craftsmanship. China. Mandate of Heaven. Hello. I am mandate of people that write books and talk about really cool stories. They are just to the south of Kamasi. Is that just random sounds on a town? I think that's iron working, isn't it? No. T. Why can't I see the T? Weird. Horses have appeared in loads of spaces around me. Okay, good to know. And I think now, what am I going to go for? I, I'm going to actually start going for mining in order to press towards my unique aqueduct. China will buy my honey. I thought I was sweet enough, but they did buy it. 320 is how much you need for a settler. So that's what I'm going to be waiting for now. Lots of reefs down to the south, actually. And there's a lot of land to go and settle to myself directly. It's just all a bit ugly. <laughs> is <laughs> the problem. Now what pantheon do I want? There are quite a lot of pastures around me to be honest. We've got one, two, three, four just in my capital alone. Temple of Artemis is actually looking like an interesting start. I'm just having a look actually. The, the honey is obviously a camp as is the ivory. This could be a really good Temple of Artemis start. I didn't really notice that at first but yeah. So uh, receiving a three builder might be quite a nice thing just to sort of get the city off the ground or we go straight for Goddess of the Hunt and put the camp in. Everyone knows I like that one. That's really good. Breathtaking appeal. Thing is, I'm going to be settling over the top of a lot of the breathtaking tiles, so I'm not so sure Earth Goddess actually stacks very nicely. Only if I use preserves, and I don't know if I will. I don't want to go Etamananki or Marshes because that's negative appeal. I think great works of writing are going to be very important here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go Divine Spark. Now this will do two things. This is going to give me more Theatre Square writer points, but it'll also give me more profit points, which means I haven't got to worry so much about actually going for holy site prayers I can now bring my production onto something different like the settler and as I get more gold I'll get myself into a position where I can buy a settler and produce a settler almost at the same time and in the meantime I'm going to start getting more profit points in my head that works I don't know if it's the best idea but it definitely works in my head oh there's another AI over there interesting is that Georgia or Japan not sure someone one of the two unless it's somebody else in which case it's not one of the two but you get what I mean Actually, I'm going to get a builder because I do want to improve some of these tiles. Battle cry on this warrior and this is where the land finishes. That's it. Kamasi is the bridge. The bridge to the other world. Now that I've seen Temple of Artemis, yeah, I feel like I've got to go Temple of Artemis. It's such a good start for that. In fact, there's so many sources of improvements that could be improved with a Temple of Artemis. Oh, it's difficult to work out exactly where the best place for one is. I'm thinking maybe on top of this marsh. That looks a little bit like this, which would include the uh, sorry the pasture we've got camps camps pasture I'm missing out on this one though but there instead no I miss out on two three no that's no good I don't really want to replace many of my forests that's the main problem no I think actually that is a good spot probably better ones but for now that's okay Barb camp defeated I could have gone for a dark age but I might as well just claw in as many of these great writer points as I can I think I'm gonna get a great writer from it but it could be fun Fez is almost been killed by a volcano already. You're playing in a game with Iceland. You should let me get blown up by the volcano. That's my whole thing. Oh, Manjadaro. I have a feeling, again, volcanoes are just going off everywhere. Wow. That was a big eruption. That, that city state almost got melted off the face of the earth and there's nothing that they could have done about that. 320 gold as discussed before. I think I'm going to go for the settler. Or do I work that and just go for the shrine to get my religion in this first era? I think I do want to get the first era you 
know what? I'm just keep changing my mind. I'm gonna go tall. Let's get the shrine. I'll get the builder out. I'll work the settler. I tell you what, I need one of my units back. Come back quickly, please. Thank you. Etimananki is being built. That's a good thing I didn't try and beeline that, isn't it? They like me because I don't have wonders. I always think that's such a backhanded compliment, that, isn't it? Camp. Done. And yep, China is everywhere on this small part of the continent. Can I have open borders? 16 gold. That is expensive, but I do need to come through and have a look around. We have tales to tell. See what, that was Etimananki on turn 33. Friendship? Yay! Actually, that's quite handy. I'm glad that we've got some friendship. What next? Pottery? Just because I don't really know what else to do. Oh, look at all the science here. There's so much marsh. I'm intrigued to see which pantheon China goes for. The AI is really bad at picking reeds and marshes, and it looks like this is the perfect start for that. Oh yeah, they're settling up onto this little canal bit. Oh, they're going to be such a pain. Mount Everest. Ooh, bit of error score. Nowhere near me. China has already claimed it. Never mind. Persia. Oh, is that how I could see? It might be, you know. E yes, that was Persia. And they've settled right by Mount Everest as I find it. Interesting. Okay, well, good to know that you're there. And there's craftsmanship. Excellent. I'm now thinking, do I want to go for a really ambitious settle down to the south? There's no breathtaking tiles, but at least it would stop China from settling any further north, which I'm a little bit scared of. And it's all such rubbish land for yields in, in terms of appeal, but maybe eh, it's probably not worth it. I might just stick to the north, you know. Let's go settle on this breathtaking tile. Why not? Okay, there are barbs everywhere here. Oh my goodness, they really are. I want to be able to just scuttle through, but my scout's not going to get through. China, what's going on? What, could you stop building wonders and deal with all this? Because I can't scout around this. This is this is impossible. Yep. Oh, and now Persia has moved in the way, so I can't even move my scout out. <laughs> That was always going to be the case, wasn't it? Um, yeah, sorry, Mr. Scout. This is why I don't put too much emphasis on you because you're just so easy to die. I'll pull you back. And we get first religion. There's one era score for the prophet. And then I believe we get three for founding our religion first. I haven't been able to go feed the world in so long. And I really want to go feed the world. So I shall. The good thing about feed the world is it means that holy sites aren't going to stop me from building other districts. And I like that. But what else to go for? Hmm. It's all about great writing this nation. I would like a little bit of culture to go with this in order to pick up writers and government plazas and stuff like that. So let's go for World Church. Bit of an unusual combo, I know, but that's just given me 25% bonus culture. Think about it that way. And we're growing now as well. Oh, it's going to be a good Pingala city. And what next? I think irrigation. There is some marsh that needs removing. Oh yeah, China really is just settling towards me. Goodbye, Mr. Scout. Goodbye. No matter. They don't appear to have any loyalty. And I mean, maybe we can put loyalty pressure on. Feed the world does give some good loyalty pressure late game. Here we go. Right next to a volcano. Wabam. It's next to a river. It's next to a China and next to a mountain. Wow, that's three, three era score we just got from one settle there. That's awesome. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way for me to really get much more era score. Even if I'd settled on the coast, I don't have the tech for a boat. Early game era score is really dependent on how many tribal villages you can get and it doesn't feel like I've got access to any more, unfortunately. Let's work on a monument for now and my first governor will be Armani. Annoyingly, I'm a couple turns of getting this in time. Maybe that would have been a way to get a uh, city-state on side. I don't know. But Kamasi, let's take first suzerain of you, I think. Oh look, Persia has declared war on China. Who saw that coming, eh? Who saw that coming? Not me. I'm keeping my borders closed, by the way. This is my unique sacred Icelandic space to the north. This mountain pass is the only way in. I will guard it with my life. I will, however, just quickly pick up this source of elephants. Mmm, tasty, tasty elephants. Who wants to buy some? Ah, Persia, you can buy some. Yes, have it. Bit of extra gold for me. That's all I need. And there's the normal edge. I, I feel like there probably was a golden age in there, but I'm not too worried about getting that. I don't put too much weight on a golden age for the classical era. It's very difficult to get. So how best to get a golden age this time? I think Exodus. Two era score every time we convert a city. There's no other religion to stop me spreading this really quite quickly. So let's go for it. And we have to go Pingala. We have a six population capital already. I know Magnus Chops are good fun, but we're going to be keeping quite a lot of this forest. There's Kamasi. And with mysticism, I can actually also get Mahanja Dairo, which means I now don't need housing from water. That's quite intriguing. We'll keep an eye on that one for later. There's more land in this direction than I thought there was. Ah, interesting. Okay, right. We may not be as cramped as I had feared. What's my Kamasi route like at the moment? 
seven. It is four gold, two culture. Oh, if I do that, actually, that's a really, really good play because I can also get the boost. Yeah, right. Trader, this will put a road through the mountain pass and through to Kamasi. If I'm going to spill a couple of settlers out, that's a really good way of doing it. This is a really intriguing start. It's, it feels quite tactical, quite slow, but quite methodical. Don't know if that's a fair assessment, but that's what it feels like. Anyway, I don't need the envoy with my hundred diary right now. This is a good road, but this mountain pass road is absolutely the one I want. And every time I build a district in my capital, that route gets a little bit better as well. Bronze working next. I want to be able to get rid of rainforest, especially if I go and settle in this direction. The thing is, this may be really bad appeal, but there is high appeal to the north and a lot of rainforest is blocking appeal. So if I was to, for instance, go and settle on that spice, that would leave a couple of settlement opportunities for me. It would remove that rainforest and it would help the land above. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad one. That could be my next move. We shall see. Monument, very tasty. Culture goes up. A source of horse. AI loves to buy horses early game, especially when it's at war, pointlessly with itself. There's no way Persia's going to fight through the river and the marsh, through a one-tile path next to a volcano, and then attack China, who has lots of defenses. Like, it's just not going to work. Still quite funny. Oh, the government plaza. That's interesting, because there was a thing. There was a thing. That's right. Earn a law speaker on constructing the government plaza or any of its buildings. So if I do this, I will start to build some stuff. And actually, there's a breathtaking tile for me to build it on as well. Huzzah. Right. Down you go. This will actually make it better. And yep, there we go. 18 spare production on the government plaza. Very good. Keep selling the honey and horses. I have heard that Nada Shah does wish to speak to me of horses. So it's actually quite good that he genuinely buys horses. I like that. Now this government plaza is going to make my holy site a little better. But watch my culture. It should jump up by two. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. And the law speaker. So what goes on with the law speaker? Jean Inyasun. Activated effect. If this city does not have a library containing great works, constructs a library and grants it two additional great works of writing slots. Otherwise, gain 60 science for every great work of writing in this city. Must be on a completed camp. That is very complicated. Okay, so if I don't have a library containing great work slots. Gotcha. Right, so basically if I've got a campus, I can use it. If I don't have a campus, it just gives me points for my first uh, great writing. But I don't have any great works of writing at the moment, so that is fine. Goodness me, there's a lot to think about on this. But I like it. Connoisseur. This means that I've now gone from 14 to 21 culture per turn, and we can get down towards theatre squares quickly. I think I want my theatre square before I'm going to use Jan Edinson. So I'm going to use him as a great person to scout, I think. Go see what's happening up with the barbs. We'll check in with them. Hello, how are you doing? Is everything all right up there? <laughs> no, no one's sure. Uh, Classical Republic, we want as many great works of writing as possible. So that involves us going for this. We'll go Diplomatic League. Oh, saying that. Uh, yep, Fez is still available to us. So we'll go Diplomatic League. Urban Planning, Builders, and for now, Double Experience on Recom. Oh, and there we go. There's a, our first government. We're not the first person, unfortunately, because two people are Classical Republic. But you never know. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. So here's effect. Earn gold whenever you recruit a great writer. In uh, 120 gold for every great work of writing in this city. Okay, yeah, theatre score is definitely what I want to unlock. Oh, he doesn't like the fact that I'm recruiting great people. You can't recruit these great people, okay? Leave them alone. That's jealousy, China. That's all that is, jealousy. Oh, no, no, uh, drama and poetry is not the one I want, or is it? Yes, I was after the literary tradition card. Two great writer points per turn. It's very nice. And some tea for old Ursa. Lovely. China wants my tea. Of course you can. Selling tea to the Chinese. Oh, we're economic masters. So we've discovered iron and I have it under my government plaza. Amazing. That is brilliant because mines, mines are not good. Oh, okay, right. So in some ways it was good because it was underneath the district. In some ways it's bad because I was literally just about to put a district down. Oh, if I was really unscrupulous, I would. <laughs> this is how you know I'm not cheating about this iron. I would reload and put the holy site down first, but I can't. It's against my, my ethos. Oh dear. That's so annoying. Never mind. What next? I think we're going to get masonry and then we can mine a resource, which I'm going to mine the iron from. Build a quarry. I don't think I can do that. But then I can put walls down, get engineering and get my unique district down. Is it just me or does it look a little bit like a chicken? 
It's like a little drumstick, isn't it? I think that's a musical instrument, but to me, it feels like a chicken. Seeing as we have a civilization that's all about settlers, the ancestral hall seems like a really good pick for Iceland. We'll, we'll see if that works out, but I just, I like that. Feels like a good combo. He wants to buy some horses. Persia does. He wants to buy some iron. Persia does. Am I arming one side in this conflict more than the other? No. Don't worry about it. Also, there's a settler. Ignore this, China. This is not going to come and settle in an annoying place you won't like. I promise. Drama and poetry. Get rid of survey and put in literary tradition. Urban planning is still good. Ilkum is still good. So we've now got a decent source of writer points coming in, which is awesome. Where am I going to put my theatre square? There's a plus two site there. It's not breathtaking, so I would have to work it, but is there a way of making it breathtaking? No, not without planting things. I'll chop it out. I'll chop it out. We'll get the ancestral hall and then I'll start putting it down. Chop out the marsh. A little bit more food. Excellent. And do I want to finish the ancestral hall or should we get Temple of Artemis? I'd rather get Temple of Artemis. With Mandate of Heaven China down, I just feel a little less reliable about all of the wonders on the map. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, Oracle's already being built. Have a look at the Empire lens if you're ever really unsure. That is Machu Picchu. Of course it is. Oh, what is it about the AI and building Machu Picchu? Crazy. Tribal village? An envoy. Okay, I'll put one into Fez because that'll count as two, like so. No joke, this city-state has been melted three times now? Look at these yields. Oh, I want some of that for myself. If ever I get culture bombs, you know where I'm going. After a shift in envoys, I'm no longer suzerain of Kamasi. No, 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 no. This is not a game I want to play. Kamasi is a huge culture generation for me, and I don't want to lose that. That's worth over four per turn. So how about no, we don't play that game. Remove the rainforest, settle on a luxury, sell luxury. Four gold per turn. No, you're going to have to do better than that. But spreading my religion. There it go. There you go. Two error score. And we must be getting close to a writer now. Yes, somebody's getting one point per turn. Somebody's built a theatre square. That's not actually the worst thing in the world. If other people have got theatre squares, then at least I'll have somebody else trying to get great works of writing. I, I don't mind that at all. Just selling a couple of sources of horses so I can get another theatre square with some more production on it. Beautiful. So theology has given me more holy site adjacent see if I want it. I think I'm going to keep the three production for now, but it is tempting. It also gives me temples. Should be another source of food and housing. Again, very tempting. Let's start putting some of this down very soon. Oh, no saying that. Changing my mind. Urban planning's good, but I want Corvean. That helps me my wander. Just a little bit. I just, I, I don't trust China. That's all this is. Games and recreation, recorded history. Yes, recorded history. I want the governor title to improve Pingala because we're already up to eight pop population going on nine. Bam, that's looking good. And I've just noticed I can buy some marble. Tasty. Still spreading my religion. Still getting error score every time I do it. You proud of me? I always forget to spread my religion. <laughs> every game. So a little combo here. I'm going to chop down woods into a blank city that's not building anything. That takes seven turns off a holy site and then building it into a breathtaking tower puts another six turns in. So we've gone from zero production done to 91. Oh yeah. My first great writer. Hopefully the first of many. I like the fact that after getting a great person, that gives me a point to the next one. There is a certain synergy to that I do enjoy. Right, let me just remind myself of what's going on here. So this will give me 120 gold for every great work of writing in the city. But I also gain gold every time I get a great writer. So maybe I want to put him down before the first or maybe the second. I don't know. That's really tough. And I want a campus down before I use this one. My lord, there's a lot of different choices to make here. <laughs> there are. But we'll make the great work of writing for now. To era score largest city excellent recorded history i'm gonna put scripture in now because i'm starting to build holy sites up and pingala gets researcher i'll put grants in as soon as we've got a theater square in by this tile and that is a source of iron which gives me wheel and also boosts iron working now we just need ancient walls temple of artemis camps pastures and plantations within four tiles of this wonder give me an amenity that's really cool but it also gives me i think four food and three housing in this city if it's in a pingala city that had a lot of housing anyway. That's a really good combo, so I'm looking forward to using that. So we have two out of four districts done, and I would like a theatre square and probably a campus as well. Oh, it's a plus six campus over on that volcano tile. That is genuinely very tempting. I just realised I have eight amenities in this city. 
<laughs> That's crazy. And Persia is just buying up all of my resources. Gold is not going to be a problem for me long term. That's that's handy. I think I'm going to build the campus first, you know? Feels like a weird move. That could be the way to go. But that plus six science is really tempting. And we get a production bonus for it. It's probably going to melt down in the fire every few turns. But we'll live with that. And if the city does not have a library containing great works. What is this about libraries containing great works? I haven't seen anything about libraries containing great works. Maybe this is something that Law Speaker gives me later. I don't know. We'll see. Here is Fez, which is more Iriscor, which is lovely, but I'm also still spreading my religion, namely to city-states at the moment, but that's a huge chunk of science every time I do it, so I'll take it. I'm also starting to sell Diplo Favor. The AI is buying it. This is all Diplo Favor I have generated myself. Yeah, we've basically managed to pull pretty much all of the gold per turn from the AI. It's all coming into my economy. An Icelandic bank? It can never fail. That's the one thing you say about Icelandic banks, I'm pretty sure. All rainforest has to go, by the way. All of it has to go, so this is all getting chopped down. And actually, I don't think I'm going to wait. I'm actually going to use this law speaker to give me a little bit of gold. 120, and then every time I get a great writer after this point, I also get era score. Maybe a little bit of early to, to use, but I, I'm just thinking it could be a good move for me. Chopping down the rainforest, and there's engineering, and my unique district. Now, it needs to be on a breathtaking tile. That much I know. But what are the rules on it? Can it just be put anywhere? It can just be put anywhere. Oh, it doesn't need to be placed like an aqueduct. Why? How did that pass me by? That genuinely passed me by. Okay, brilliant. That is, that, that changes things. So it just has to go on any breathtaking tile. That's basically it. Okay, so I'm going to pop it up there. And I'm not getting rid of any woods. I mean, it's really, really quick to build. And, and yeah, I get more production towards it. And it gives me housing. It gives me food. Everything a growing city needs to thrive. And I've got a Fez boost as well, which would be really cool. What do I want to go towards? I think construction. So let's go for horseback riding and go... Oh, actually, we'll check. Fez is still there. Yep, Fez is still there. This should be 80 science. So, bam. Horseback riding is done. Oh, we don't get to use Fez very often. But when you do use Fez, it's always worth it. And finally, a very special shout out goes to... Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennis, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Debel Time, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixomatosis, MTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Sharky Bates, Charlie Bears, I Love You Tombo, Flying Dutch Burbs. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.